high energy, emotion, and sometimes a surprise ending. Football games keep fans on their feet and their eyes glued to the field. Friday night's homecoming game at Merritt Island High School had a different type of handoff happen. This one during halftime. News 6's Carolina Cardona explains there was not a dry eye in the house. It made me a Mustang. Mustang. We're a family. We have pride and traditions. Was James Rappel's thoughtfulness that stood out Friday night during his last football home game at Merritt Island High School. Senior student was crowned homecoming king, but in this video, you see him handing his crown and sash to his classmate Parks Finney. All the senior guys got together and we just kind of all agreed that Parks should get it. We would give it to Parks after we found out who would be king. What did you say to James that night? Thank you. An emotional night for Amy Finney, an English teacher at the high school, and Parks' mom. I was just, I was just amazed and shocked. Shocked as she watched the kind gesture unfold through the lens of her camera. You know, we see a lot of a lot of criticism of teenagers and you know that they're only into their phones and that they don't they don't care about what's going on but this shows that they do and you know it, it's it's the magic of teenagers um, and just the magic of inclusion and acceptance. 19 year old Parks has a condition known as periventricular leukomalacia or PVL a brain injury he suffered at birth but one that hasn't prevented him from being a welcoming and bright spirited young man. He can strike up a conversation. He's funny. He's a nice guy and he's he's the he's the mayor. He's Mr. Mayor is what we call him. Thank you first of all to the young men here at Merritt Island High School for including him. And I think that the message that comes from this is just people are people and be accepting and be kind. In Merritt Island, Brevard County, Carolina Cardona, News 6.